everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, we're here because we're having a quick day trip team to Asheville. We'll be back tomorrow, so a quick little overnight. But yeah, it's 8.30. We're about to leave. It's me, my sister, and my mom, and y'all are gonna come along. So let's go. to Asheville yay we had a time getting here because of personal issues child my stomach was upset everybody's stomach was upset but we made it <laughs> we here we literally are gonna go get some breakfast lunch at Panera and then we're gonna head to the spa for our massages so yep we're here at the Panera but yeah that's what we got going on how was the drive y'all it was good not bad at all he does great <laughs> yeah. Mommy. I don't never get no break. Sorry. <laughs> never get no driving break. I'm always driving. Shoot. <laughs> Reparation. <laughs> this is what we got, y'all. Broccoli cheddar soup bowl and Greek salad. And this is what Panera looks like if you've never been. Nothing special. But they sell like sandwiches and soups and stuff for people who don't know what Panera is but yeah so we are here at uh, Illusions Day Spa we're here for 90 minute hot stone massages so yeah I'll show you what the outside and stuff looks like but this is where we're at in Asheville cause yeah sorry there's bugs so yeah massage time some paperwork and this is hey what it looks like in here it's like um, a house but they've converted it so you can see this is where people get their hair done this is where people get their nails done and then I think we go upstairs for the massages so y'all see y'all in an hour and a half y'all you can, can do, do it look like i just got a massage look, look. <laughs> Woo. that was uh much needed uh yes 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 that thing right there y'all that thing hit it hit my hair look a fool so just ignore it because you're not paying for it where's mommy Let's see a review of the massage. We got a 90 minute hot stone massage. They were $125 each. Everybody has to do that. I mean, you need that at least once a month. Yeah, I would say once a month. <laughs> right, our next participant. You look like your face is like you had a nap. I know, I got you lines You got the line, the nap line. That was great. I could feel just the yeah, tension melting away. My body. Ooh wee. Lord Jesus, it was great though. Mm. It was great. Ten out of ten. So if y'all can see the house in the back, that's where they do the massages and everything like that. But now we're going to head to um I don't know how to pronounce the winery. It's spelled P-L-E-B, but it has like a line over the E. So we're just gonna call it the winery until we get there and they tell us how to pronounce it. I will see y'all in a bit. <laughs> So here we are, y'all, at the Urban Winery. We're in the River Arts District of Asheville, so it's very cute area. It reminds me of Noda, if you live in Charlotte. The winery is called Plebe. Plebe Urban Winery. <laughs>
You don't have to tell them, did you crush the fruit? You don't, you just have to put Chardonnay. Consultation with our farmers as well. Okay. Um, Very good. Soil tests. You know, it is that. The name Plebe Urban Winery stems from the word plebeian, which was known to be for people who are working class or sometimes referred to as lower class citizens in Roman ancient civilizations. So this winery's goal is to make wine, particularly North Carolina wine, more widely known and more accessible to all by educating all and making it affordable and fun. So I really liked this winery's mission and goals. It smells great. As natural and funky a wine, I hate using the word funky because it's got a negative connotation. Oh, I get it. It's a good smell. Yeah, Very well balanced. Yeah. <laughs> the in North Carolina have in common with oak from France. Literally nothing, because there's an ocean between us. Like, why should we age our produce in French oak? Mm. Um, and this is just his theory. Um, and nobody's making North Carolina oak barrels. So he foraged the materials for the concrete from local riverbeds and streams and everything. And he's also working on foraging a bunch of North Carolina clay and having some big amphora made for oh, wow. this as well. Because if the grapes were grown from our soil, they should have, you know, the eating vessel should have something in common with those grapes. Okay. Just wanted to give you another tour of the winery. This is the other side where you see they have a lot more production barrels. And I always really liked all the art and graffiti they had on the walls by different artists from local Asheville. So, very cool place. Hopefully you can hear me. I left my mic in the car by accident, but we are doing a flight after the tasting and we're tasting this Muscadine wine, which is ironically red. I thought it would be white, but it smells like Muscadine. <laughs> I don't like Muscadine, but he said to try this because it's different from normal muscadine, so let's give it a taste. It tastes like a less sweet version of the Welch's Concord grape juice with a little bit more muscadine flavor. Um, but I rock with it, it's cool. And then I'll show y'all the flight as well. So this is the flight. It's called Red, White, and Blues, I think. So it has, as you can see, one white, <laughs> one rosé, and one red. And that's the flight. The flight was $12. So this is the flat bread that we got. I think it has like a, I don't even remember. I know it got pesto and mozzarella and tomato and basil. So, But that's the flat bread. The white of the flight. Smells like a saw blanc. Mm. And it tastes like a saw blanc. It does. Lord Farquaad is back. <laughs> My mama called me that earlier. <laughs> we got the rose. It smells a bit muscadiney as well, so TBD. It's a little bit muscadiney for me, but I'll drink it. We can't do anything right the first time. <laughs> we are here trying the last wine. This is the red. We already, is this the same red you think? It's not the same. Way. It's not though. It's really good. It's very well balanced. It is. Not sweet. Not dry. Doesn't dry out your mouth. That's one thing about all these wines though. My mouth is not dry at all. Now do I need some water? Yes. But my mouth is not dry. Catch y'all on the flip side. Here we are at 
Hotel Indigo, and we are staying on the penthouse floor. What's our number, Dina? Our number 1305. Right here. Well, right off the elevator, everybody. Oh. Ooh. Well, this is the bathroom, man. It has a very cute view of downtown Asheville. You see the mountains. This is the bathroom, tub. Yeah. So there we are, the beds are up nice and high. So that's it girlies, we're gonna clean the room cause you know we got the sanitize and then we're gonna hit downtown and then catch y'all at the lobster trap for dinner. We made it to the lobster trap for dinner but it was literally pouring down rain. I don't know, I, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> You can tell by the way that I look that it was pouring down rain. Um, so yeah, I did not record the walk over here. I'm soaked, but we're here. Mommy got the lobster fish. Gonna smile. <laughs> Give it a taste. Yeah. You like it? Good flavor. Really good flavor. Okay. Ooh, my oysters are here. Yay! <laughs> That's what I like to see. Right on now, trying to be on YouTube. So everybody who asked me to do my food reaction. Here is the crab dip. And we also got this Riesling, but it's very sweet, so it's not my thing, but I'll drink it because we bought it. Parmesan panko crusted lobster with mashed potatoes, broccolini, and garlic chili butter, house made. Mommy virtually got the same thing, but with collard greens and steak. And Sissy got the same thing as me. <laughs> mm. Well, y'all, everybody fool, everybody waddling. Everybody sleepy. Oh, look at the dog. Look at the dog. Aww. Aww. Hi. So we are going back to the telly because we, we was going to try to give y'all a nightlife, but we don't have it in us, okay? Baby, the night is here. <laughs> the, night. The, the night is the bed. The night is ended. <laughs> so this is day trip. Asheville, we will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's July 3rd, it's almost 11. Checkout is at 11, so we're right on time. Um, we're about to go head to brunch, but that's pretty much it for, you know, a little quick downtown Asheville day trip, overnight, little quick team. Very cute, very cute. Asheville is cute. Yeah, see y'all in a bit. 
So here we are, hopefully you can see because the glare of the sun is not on my favor of side, but it's Sunny Point Cafe. I found it on Google. It's very Asheville, big purr, big purr, big purr. So that says exit only. So we go inside somehow. I lied everybody, we are not going to Sunny Point. They told us it was a two hour wait which the good news is, is that I have good choice. The bad news is we're not eating there because it's two hours to drive back to Charlotte. So we're winging it, BRB. So we've walked a little bit down the street. Um, we're gonna see if we can get into this spot here. Haywood Common. I don't even know if it's brunch, y'all. I just saw it on the side of the road and was like, oh, Okay, so oh, who knows if we're actually gonna get in here or not. I honestly have <laughs> no clue. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna see and I'm gonna be RB. Smoke bourbon lemonade. <laughs> know what the straws are but I don't feel like asking. <laughs> Breakfast hash for me. Fish and grits no pork. Fish and grits with pork. Okay girly so that's it for Asheville. Rap. Overnight trip. Did everybody have fun? Yes. 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 Bomb time. yes. Great time. Woo. It was fun. It was nice. It was cool though. It's, it is cool. We'll be back. Very progressive. We will place. be back. See y'all next time.